video, I'm going to show you how match defense works against gun two back or some different formations. And the reason I wanted to do these videos is because I wanted to do kind of a deep dive into the quarters defense and really try to understand what kind of checks we're getting uh, whenever you get these random formations. I feel like I'm pretty decent at defending bunch or trips or spread even. But when it comes to like formations like split twins or like wing slot offset, for example, like kind of some of these random formations where they start putting tight ends in weird positions, I don't quite understand how the defense works. And so what I wanted to do was I wanted to kind of present a base level of hypothesis, and then I wanted to kind of actually walk through some route combinations, some popular concepts, and then explain and then kind of reverse engineer and teach you um, by virtue of learning alongside of you how these coverages actually work. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you want to learn how to run match at a really high level, uh, I would really encourage you uh, to join my Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon membership, you're going to get an instant access to every ebook that I've released so far in the Madden 22 season. Uh, we have released 13 offensive and defensive ebooks. That's more than any other website in the community. And we try to try to really give you concepts, materials, and things that really work um, you know, formation to formation. So really, really excited to talk about this today with you. And I think this is going to be a, a fun series. So just random formation, uh, split twins. And we're just going to pick kind of some random little plays here. Uh, we're going to go Texas. We got PA uh, slide. We got red zone corner. And then let's see if there's any other big time passing. Con I don't think there is. But these, these concepts are actually really, really good. And the play that you're going to get most of the time is this red zone halfback corner play. And again, we're just gonna be working out of quarters and uh, explaining kind of a base level rule, and then we're gonna kind of reverse engineer and work backwards. So um, what we have here, if you think about this, if I were to motion Jones to the left, that would basically create trips tight end. So the way that this defense is going to function in terms of how it's going to play against this is actually going to be very similar to the way that trips tight end works. The only difference really is that the number three receiver is in the backfield as opposed to being a slot. Okay, To me, that's a really important thing to kind of a foundational piece uh, that we need to lay. So the way that quarters works against trips tight end um, is basically what we're going to get is the Wallace here, uh, quarters is a pattern match zone defense, right? And basically what's going to happen is we're going to play cover four, but once we see the pattern distribution, we might convert into main coverage in certain situations. And so what you're going to see here is Wallace is going to be playing in relationship with the number one receiver. If the number one receiver goes on a vertical route, which a vertical route is basically five to 10 yards uh, it's actually, I think, technically 7 to 10 yards at this point. So like a 5-yard in or a drag, that's probably not going to be a vertical route. But a deep post would be a vertical route. So if Evans runs a vertical route, Wallace will convert from zone into man. However, if Evans runs like a smoke screen, Wallace will basically um, pass him off to an underneath defender and now play uh, in relationship with number two, okay? If you can count to three, you can play match defense, right? Because typically you're gonna have three, at the most four, receiving threads on one side of the field. Now, the number two receiver, this um, in quarters, Brown is the number two receiver. And if I click on to Micah Hyde, who's the inside safety on that, on that twins, he is going to play in relationship to number two. If number two goes vertical, Hyde will take him in man-to-man. -man. So if he runs a corner route, if he runs a post, if he runs a streak, if he runs a curl, those are all vertical routes. However, if Brown runs an under route, like let's say a drag, then Hyde will basically let him go and then look back to the number one receiver. Okay. Where this gets tricky is the number three receiver, which in this example is actually the running back. Okay. Now the way that this works is this three rec hook stands for three receiver hook. So what's going to happen is Milano is going to open up to the three receiver side. Where this gets a little tricky and what you're going to see in a, a little bit of a breakdown here is what should happen is if he can, if, and especially in this example, if the running back continues vertical, 
The three rex should continue to take him unless there's a crosser, shallow crosser. And then if there is a shallow crosser, he should be able to pass him off to hide. However, what we're going to see in this example is this is going to be a little bit of a breakdown. Now against trips tied in, Poyer is kind of like a free safety roamer. They would call that um, they would call that poach, right? Uh, ideally, what we get here is Poyer should be able to poach to the number three or to the three wide side. If number three goes vertical, especially if 27 was in the slot, Poyer would then be responsible for taking him man to man over the top of the field. Okay, the, the, the problem is this is a little bit of a breakdown in the coverage. So, um, and it's again a little bit different uh, than actually defending trip side in. On the back side here, you have White. Um, he's going to pre play primarily in relationship with the tight end. If the tight end runs a deep corner route, White's going to take him in man to man. Uh, if the tight end runs a post route, I think White will actually pass him off. Uh, but for the most part, White is really in relation with the tight end. And then the quarter flat is going to be in relationship with 84. And he's going to take 84. If 84 goes to the flat, if 84 goes on like a little angle route, now the three receiver hook is kind of the guy that's going to be in position to play that. So that's kind of a brief overview of how this should work. And um, now we're going to just run this play and uh, show you what happens. We might do some adjustments like something like this, if you will. Um, but let's just take a look at this three receiver hook defender. You see he doesn't really play it. Now the quarter flat actually played fairly decent uh, right there. And I want to I'm, I'm gonna show you what, how we can kind of manipulate that in just a second on the deep on the offense side. But what we get here is number one is on a post. So number one goes vertical. So guess what? That corner is going to convert and run him in man-to-man -man coverage. That works perfectly. Number two, he's going to run a post as well. And so the number two safety says, I'm going to take him vertically. Now, the number three receiver in this defense should be a little bit more in terms of the wall off on this. But by this point right here, this linebacker has technically passed him off to the outside quarter flat. And now the quarter flat you'll see right here is going to go to the running back. And this is where this play kind of, the conversion is just a little too slow. And, and now uh, 24 is in a little bit of a bad spot. Okay. Um, and then let's come back here now and take a look here. This is a tight end streak you see there. And again, 21 is kind of your guy. He doesn't really do a whole lot uh, on this coverage. He should be over here in the middle of the field, but instead he actually gets taken by the vertical, which is not a good thing. And then what you should see here is this guy is going to go to the quarter flat, but again, he converts a little bit too late for the way this we want this coverage to work. So some adjustments that I'm immediately already thinking about in terms of what I'd like to do with this. Um, let me show you a palms check. So if I check the palms here, what you'll see, and we're just going to run the exact same uh, route combo. Uh, but what you should notice here is that this route to triangle gets played significantly better. Now, why does that get played significantly better? Well, when you're in a three receiver set, Typically, what you're going to get is you're going to get a special uh, check, especially if Jones is in the slot. Because Jones is in the backfield, it is a little bit different, but it's still kind of similar um, in terms of what we're going to get. But basically, all it, comes, all it comes down to is if I'm in palms here, let's say that Evans runs a flat. Watch this quarter flat now. You should see see that right there. That's, the, that's, where, that's where we're really getting a breakdown. Okay, That's where we're really getting a little bit of a breakdown. So what I like to do in quarters to try to combat this is I like to take Milano and I like to man him up onto the running back and then we're going to bluff blitz Phillips and then what I like to do is bring this guy down and user him. Now what we've got is we, if you think about it, what we should have here is pretty much man lock on the backside, right? And then now we're free to use her over the middle in case they run some kind of shallow cross. So let's say you get a route. To me, this is a great little concept right here. This is a great route combo, okay? So now as the user, I'm free to kind of help over here immediately and then be able to come and work back to this crosser. And as you see, it plays it really, really well. Um, let's talk about another route combo that they might like to do out of this. Um, and that is the, you know, maybe they want to do um, let's let's take a look at this Texas play and let's try to run a little bit of a flooding concept to the left maybe something like this okay just kind of throwing stuff at the wall a little bit here um, just to try and illustrate uh, some of the potential routes that you could get 
in, in, in all likelihood. So again, in this example, um, because the threat of the running back primarily, we're either going to get a flat, we're going to get an angle route, or we're going to get that deep corner route, more than likely. Like I said, what I like to do is man him up with that middle linebacker. And then I like to have that three wreck and then maybe like a QB spy. Okay, this is my favorite coverage in the game to just rush two to three people out of. And what you're going to see now is this tight end route. Now, I've got to help on that, but you see we take it vertical. And for the most part, we play fine. Defensively, for the most part, that coverage played fairly fine. Again, these are kind of some of the baseline Again, I'm trying to give you guys some basic adjustments that you can use and actually break down some of these formations so you can kind of understand what you're actually getting. Okay, what you're actually getting here. So uh, here we go. Um, now right here, this broke down a little bit over here. Um, he just he just had a bad turn, um, but that corner route was open. Uh, but anyways, if we come back over here, you see, notice real quick this quarter flat defender on the right because there's no outside flat threat that quarter flat is free to carry so he carries that taxes pattern and then the man coverage assignment on the back takes the out he does a terrible job i think it's because we didn't pass commit i don't know but anyways and then the quarter flat here I'm not quite sure what he's doing i think he's working on the texas route and then as you can see there we've got pretty good coverage okay so that's that's kind of how that works now let's say um, let's say they run, um, let's just kind of, uh, do a basic concept here like this, if you will. So we get something like this. Whoops. Why the, oh, the tight end gets slot routes. That's crazy. Um, so anyway, this is kind of a glitchy formation by the way, too. That's why I picked this. So let's say we get something like this. So this is kind of a basic, you know, kind of three wide combo, if you will. Uh, but basically, we're going to run the same exact adjustments. So same kind of thing. We're going to pinch our defense. Uh, we're or pinch our D line. We're going to um, bluff blitz the three receiver side guy, QB spy the backside DT man up on that running back, and then we're going to blitz our user and be in this kind of area right here where we should be in pretty decent position. Okay, so this is the coverage. And then now what we're looking at is from a user perspective, again, the post stretch the tight end. Let's see how this guards it. You see here, that's the route that we need to use her. Okay, and it's just like trips tight end in that regard. Just like trips tight end in that regard. Okay, but as you can see, I mean, it's just a pretty basic level of understanding here. But by and large, if we use her that route, there's not a whole lot else open. And I'll show you real quick. We're on the same combo back. So if we get a crosser from that tight end, something coming across our face, that's where we need to kind of hang out as a user. So you see here, again, let me get the post out there. And what you'll see is we're going to open. We always open up to this poach, come here, and then come back here. And as you see, it plays it fairly deep. It, it, it's fairly okay. If you were to run um, another coverage that I like to run against this, uh, is the palms and let me show you and illustrate why I like the palms so we're gonna do the exact same adjustments that we just did literally exactly the same but what you should notice is palms whenever you have a solo tight end like this palms tends to work a little bit differently so here we are in palms and what you should see here is now the tight end should get matched it actually doesn't um, palms kind of breaks down if that was trips tight end he would have gotten matched across the formation so those are some little things like that that you know you might want to be aware of. Now another thing that I like to do, uh, let's say if I'm if I'm if I'm really locking in against this, another thing that you could do um, that would be very effective is you could go ahead and just simply man up the tight end, and then you could basically run your adjustments as is because there's there's no reason he's that outside corner is never going to work in a relationship with 84. He's really only looking at the tight end, and he's not really going to help us if they're running any kind of crossing around anyway, because that's our poach defender's job, right? So now you could do something like, uh, like this right here, and you know this is a very good little concept. And now you've got man coverage, right? Now you've got man coverage on a tight end. He might be able to catch up to that and make a play, as you can see. If you got a good corner, 
So that's, a, that's something else you could do with this to kind of slow these things down and to kind of, again, defend the formation. Quarters should adapt to the formation. What are the rules of the defense? And then how can we adapt them formation to formation to put ourselves in a position of strength? Let me give you another example. Let's say that they were to take uh, this guy and motion him to the right. Okay, what you're going to get now is a little bit of a different check because now your three receiver side has just changed. So what I like to do is simply flip the play. If I get, if I get a motion, I'll just flip the play. And now we're going to basically do essentially the same thing on this side from a setup perspective. So you see we literally just flipped the play. And now, whatever concept they want to run, let's say they want to run, you know, something like this. This is a great little play. I mean, it's a great concept, but now I'm in a, I'm in a much better position to be able to defend it. And I know I'm living in a little bit of a perfect world with this being practice mode, but I think what you're seeing is the idea and the concepts can trans. I mean, and again, and again, you know, it's hard for me to, it's hard for me with two controllers. Uh, let me, I'm going to try to do the best I can right here. So I'm just going to set up a basic uh, route concept. Uh, like this and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up my defense for so let's just say kind of imitating like I set my defense up right so let's say I'm in here I've set my I've set my whole defense up and then and then they go with this motion okay watch how fast I can do this flip boom and we're by and large ready we're by and large ready and now we can play basic coverage with the flip okay so to me if you can figure out how to do that at a high level you know and you really honestly like it, it, even if they it's a little bit of an in-depth you know, it's not a motion i'm not trying to talk too much about motion here because motions a it's a it's just a little bit of a different animal um but when they start motioning a lot there are some things that you can kind of do out of your base look because really what happens is and again it's a little bit different because of the type of form this is a unique formation in that um, but basically you're getting two by two you're getting a check to two by two so if you defend it like two by two you're going to be fine so an easy way to do that is you have something like this right let's take red zone corner for example red zone corner will make a really uh, a really decent example so let's say that you're like this and they're gonna go into like a two by two. So something like this, if you will, okay? Maybe they even put a deep crosser uh, to the circle receiver and then they do like a, you know, this is a very good route, would be a very good route combo from a motion perspective, right? So now I'm here, okay, I'm here and I've set my coverage up, right, like I want to and I see that they do that motion, right? I see that they do that motion uh, into the twins. Well, what I'll do really, really quickly here is I'll just put Poyer into a inside quarter and then I'll click on to Milano and use him because now I can just be the middle of the field defender because they've turned this into two by two rules. So I put Poyer into that. I just blitz this guy now and he's my user and now we're just all opening up and look, your outside quarter or your quarter defends that because it's a vertical route into a only a solo, a solo receiver uh, type thing. So that's an easy way that you can kind of transition out of a motion and still get a pretty basic coverage. You're going to see here, I mean, pretty much everything's back. They did have the check down, but other than that, we play pretty fine. I mean, the quarter flat comes down on the on that drag. Uh, we, got, we got the backside post double teamed. I mean, there's a lot of good in that coverage, okay? So all I'm trying to get at is these are some baseline things that you can do to stop this formation and kind of adapt your quarters to the formations. That's what I'm hoping to do in this series. Let me know if you would enjoy something like this. If you don't like these kind of videos, that's fine. Let me know and we'll continue to do some maybe shorter, quick to the point tips uh, and tricks. We're gonna try to do a little bit of both of those in the coming days, but I hope you really enjoyed this video because I love making these kind of videos. And this is kind of an example. We go a lot more in detail in our Patreon. So if you like this video, you wanna learn this whole defense, it's available in my Patreon membership. So if you're watching and you wanna check that out, head down to the description, click on that link to join the Patreon membership. And by joining, like I said, you're gonna get access to all of my Madden 22 uh, offensive and defensive eBooks, as well as every update and every exclusive tip that we have in that membership for you. Thanks for watching and be sure to check that Patreon out down in the description.